All right, now back in business. I've yet to actually do the video on the IGDA, former IGDA guy, I should say. But instead, I had to do something that I think is very uh, close to one of my most hated subjects. And by hated subjects, I mean things that always happen in the world, and it just really pisses me off. It really pisses me off to no end to see things like this always happen. And this is rape that happens to young boys and, to a lesser extent, younger men. Although this it doesn't matter, the, the result is usually the same. Uh, women getting away with the rape of young boys and young men. Particularly older women, you know, the women in their 40s to 50s, maybe 30s if we're classing women in their 30s as older women. when well, they're not, but okay. So everyone knows the story of one Molly Shattuck, a former, former, I might add, former nearly 50-year-old cheerleader who gave alcohol to a minor, a 15-year-old boy, and basically committed oral sex on him, fourth-degree rape, and had a few snogs and kisses with him beforehand. And she has gotten away with it. She is not going to be charged by the top prosecutor. Uh, they've not really given us any real reasons as to why. And it just pisses me off. Because this is a woman who has committed an offence. She pled guilty. And was sentenced to 48 weekends in a community correction centre. This is absolute bullshit. I mean, if this was a man, he'd be getting how many... What? 48 months in prison, maybe? I don't know what fourth degree rape carries as a sentence for men, but I assume it's definitely not 48 weekends in a community correction centre. And not only that, they also had a plea agreement where she would not be charged with giving alcohol to a minor. And apparently the guidelines call for a 22 month sentence for fourth degree rape which I assume is oral sex I don't know and the only thing we have here that can give us any kind of retribution is that she is now a registered sex offender until she is in her 70s and this is just not good enough she deserves to be in jail if people are gonna go by equality and if we're gonna treat people as equals we're gonna have to give them equal jail time because a man would be in prison he would be a registered sex offender for at least a bit longer than that. I'd say about 35 years. And he would lose his job. He would lose everything. As far as I know, she's not lost anything. And there's no real reason other than the crime did not warrant her being charged. What the fuck? I, I just don't understand the reasoning. How is it any different? Rape is rape. The boy was the one who charged her. He was the one who reported her. You know, he said he reported her to his parents and they all called the police and she was arrested. She admitted it. And this sets a dangerous precedent. This shows to all the female predators and paedophiles that they can get away with it. If they're caught, they're going to get a slap on the wrist. They may well be registered, but they can still go off into the world and still, you know, prey on other kids in other jobs and other areas. You know, they may not be able to be teachers or cheerleader coaches, but, you know, when there's a will, there's a way, they'll always find a way to get what they want, isn't there? Isn't that how they how it works? It's just terrible. And it's, it's as if the, oh, the, the most privileged class is not the white man, it's not the black man, it's not the Asian man, it's not the Latino man, it's the white woman. Because she can get away with murder. Although, to be fair, her other sisters can too. And I don't necessarily mean murder, but I'm sure there's someone who's gotten away with murder. But this is just dangerous. It's dangerous. These people are, 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 are terrible attorneys. These are terrible lawmakers. These people shouldn't even be in this job if they can't look at this impartially. I hate to mention Metal Gear Solid Five, but Revolver Ocelot, who is one of the characters mentioned to one of the characters who was you know he, he he got attached to these kids that they saved from africa who were child soldiers and one of the kids who's a bit of a dickhead 
a bit nasty. I'm not going to spoil too much. Does something wrong. And he doesn't question him good enough. He doesn't put him on a leash. And Ocelot said, the reason why you've not got him to confess to his crime is because you're attached to him. You're too soft and you're not impartial. And this is the problem with these people. They're not impartial. They're biased. They've got a hey-ho gender bias that these feminists sort of talk about towards women. And this is why people like her, like Shatok, can get away with this. And it's wrong. I'm sick of this constantly happening. Boys are getting victimised. Boys are getting traumatised. And these predators and paedophiles are getting away with it. I don't care if she's a registered sex offender. She's only going to, going to a community correction centre because apparently these women just need a bit of, you know, rehabilitation and off they'll go. The guys are, if you've seen Louis Theroux's documentary on it, they get far worse treatment than this, and rightfully so, but come on, this is supposed to be an equal society, right? I'm not seeing it, and I'm not going to repeat myself, so... Until next time, and let's hope the law actually works next time. This has been Charmyman93. Like and share the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you later.